So what's going on guys, Kales here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you 10 features that the game doesn't tell you in Sons of the Forest. So Sons of the Forest is the new highly anticipated survival game, which I like to call it as The Forest 2. The Forest was one of their first ever games made, that the developers released, so we can expect to see a lot of new features and game mechanics that were not released in the first game. So if this sounds interesting to you, then let's get right into it. So the start of the Sons of the Forest is much like the original game. You crash land onto a completely unknown island, which is filled with various tribes of cannibals, mutants and all sorts of other monsters that been living in the secret dark caves. And with all of these challenges, your ultimate goal is to survive. Unlike other survival games, every single minute will be dangerous, especially at the start. So that's why players will want to gather resources and build structures that may protect them when you come across the other creatures living on the island. Then if you are comparing the original story to the Sons of the Forest, then basically your kid's son is now replaced with a missing billionaire, which in short is just a quick different storyline to give you another reason to care about the story. To be honest, I would say that no one played the forest for its narrative. We actually did so because of its amazing co-op action and survival mechanics. And just like in the prequel, you can just jump straight into the building your own private base with a bunch of your friends and begin exploring every nook and cranny of this haunted island. So then a big key difference now is that no matter which mode you end up playing, so single player or cop, you won't ever be alone. You will always be accompanied by Kelvin who is an ex-soldier. And what matters is that he will do all of your trivial tasks with the help of a single command. So instead of us grinding the game for hours upon hours just to get materials to build a cool structure, well in Sons of the Forest we will be able to sign Kelvin to gather logs and chop different trees. And the same will apply on if you need a fighting companion. And in addition of this new AI, this feature will greatly benefit the overall experience of the game, as you no longer will need to worry about the tedious tasks and you can just solely focus on the larger picture. But being intelligent to some degree, let's say that Calvin has an actual personality, so he won't work for you if you treat him badly. So players will have to make sure that their companions are being treated well, and this will ensure that he is always ready to do any of your tasks. So all of the enemies in the game also have improved AI system and they can constantly think and change their plans depending on what's happening around them and what you're doing at any given time. Among the various enemy types that are available, there are those who will only seek you out and leave you alone as long as you return the favor. There will be creatures that will charge headfirst into your base and then there are even literal monstrosities just hoping for you to stumble upon them. Most of the enemy types will move in groups and even have their own leaders who will greatly affect the group's ideology or general behavior. Then as well the enemies will evolve according to the various seasons and change their focus onto different foes. So for example if you attacked an enemy group in summer then they might become harmless in winter and vice versa. And we will of course get to see some regular cannibals as well and they can have complex emotions such as fear. Then they are cave cannibals as well with no markings, clothing, skin pigment or even eyes. These variants have clearly been inhabiting the caves for many years. And finally we've seen the mask cannibals, much larger and stronger than the others. They will use a golden mask to display their statue. And the player can even craft such a mask to either way blend in or win the exception of the group. So then when you are not fighting enemies or gathering resources, there is a very good chance that you will be building. And yes, the devs really overhauled the construction mechanics. So gone are the days where you had no control and where to create your own masterpiece, you had to use a set of predefined smaller designs. So then in Sons of the Forest there is a new user friendly but also more realistic representation of the wilderness carpentry. And now with the management and snapping assistance you can manually place and cut logs in any way that you might want to. So this will give you a complete control over your building. This basically means that the only limitation is the whole island which by the way is 4 times bigger than the forest one. Building will still be a core focus in Sons of the Forest and you should expect a more grounded series of systems to help you further immerse you in the world. So for example if you want to add a window to the base you are building you can just pull out an axe and chop in the space for one. Then as well spears are created by sharpening wood and as well campfires are created by snapping twigs and just lighting them up. The Forest 2 is still a survival horror game at heart, so managing your resources and conditions will still be key, even as more challenging crafting systems are implemented. 
So then speaking about crafting, the complete immerse and overhaul also extends to the item crafting and other basic animations. So let's say that you wanted to craft a spear. All that you have to do is literally just take a stick and start sharpening it. And at the end you will create a working weapon. And just to clarify, you're not going into your inventory and creating a sharp spear with some wooden sticks and stones, like you might expect from other survival games. In my opinion, the developers really went above and beyond to deliver the best immersed survival experience that one could get. And honestly speaking, it's a sight to behold. The new animations as well alone make me want to spend hours just crafting wooden spiked walls. So, all of the new features and realistic gameplay mechanics would be for nothing if the game itself looked bad. But wow, the sequel really delivers on the visual front. The island looks absolutely amazing, especially with the terrain changing in the seasons. This is not to say that Sons of the Forest is twice as good as the first game, but to be honest it does not need to look that much different. The combat feels amazing, and the addition of the AI and companion system is a breath of fresh air that the survival genre desperately needs. So then while we are talking about all the new cool features, the Sons of the Forest will have more robust cooking, crafting and building system. The developers have introduced a digging mechanic as well, and the ability to even use a 3D printer to create more elaborate and complex items, which will help you in your survival or you will just be able to create a different colored gear that will help you to stand out from your friends in the multiplayer sessions. The developers also confirmed that they removed the sanity system entirely as they couldn't find a satisfying way to intervene with the core survival loop. And then finally, we have few more weapon types to choose from. We've seen the return of weapons like clubs, axes, the spear, bow, crossbow, and seemingly the katana and the molotov. But many more tools are now at your disposal, including the taser gun, baton, pistol, shotgun, C4 explosive, a revolver, hand grenades, a selection of knives, and even a tranquilizer gun. And to make things even more customizable and fun, we've seen a variety of weapon attachments, ranging from scopes to even silencers, and even with the ability to craft different types of armor, such as leather armor and much more. But of course, the core focus will be on melee combat, with a critical shortage of weapon ammunition, so you will really have to make some tough decisions on what to do with your very few bullets. So then now we have come to the big question, is Sons of the Forest worth the money and time if we compare it against the first game? Well to be honest, it's very hard not to get excited when you look at all the new footage and hear about all the cool and unique game mechanics that the developers have implemented. But with the multiple delays and the announcement of an early access period, I expect that there might be some bugs or glitches that you may run into. But with all of this said, if you play the Forest original game, then you 100% will enjoy the Sons of the Forest. So, this game won't give you an in-depth storyline, like perhaps in The Witcher or other games. But what the Sons of the Forest will give you is an incredible and scary survival game, where every second you have to think about what is the best way to survive. And on your way to survival, you will undiscover the secret caves, then even a bunch of mutants and then the real story on what happened with your mission and the other soldiers that crashed on the island. Overall, the new game is everything that you asked for in the forest with a better AI, completely new and overhauled building and crafting system and much more. So what are you waiting for? Check out The Sons of the Forest on Steam and good luck in your survival. So with that said, I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other good Sons of the Forest guides and video topics that you would like to see in the next video, then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell. So this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said, you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. So take it easy. Peace.